I'm pleased to present you the new version of Dialux Evo 4, which includes several improvements. We have included the calculation of daylight in interior scenes. We have made improvements to the documentation. We have improved uh, the false color rendering and monitoring function for your results. So I have been switching off all the values for the luminaires suspended here in this room and you have the effect of the daylight coming through the windows, casting into the room and you have like usual the possibility to see the values for a certain point at the right bottom which is also working for the daylights. And now you can use the sliders to turn on and off the, the several or the different luminaires you have in your project. You're free to use the daylights, including the clear sky, uh, overcast sky, no daylight, in the same manner like it would be luminaire. Indeed, we are calculating each window like it would be a luminaire, which can then be switched on and off. And this will give us the option to include further features in the future. Now that the scene is calculated, uh, we could move on to the documentation. Before that, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that we have integrated the ray tracing into the export and within the documentation we have made several major and smaller improvements. The most obvious improvement will for sure be that with each floor plan we have integrated the position and the quantity of luminaires as well as all the objects which are relevant for the calculation. This is also true for the room summary, which includes not only these objects, but also the ISO lines and the results in a long list, depending of course on the quantity of objects which you have been integrating. I would like to use this project to introduce you into the improvements on the false colors. Let's use the global false colors and you will notice immediately that you have two choices regarding the representation of the false colors. Then we have the scale here with two markers marking a lower and a higher position which may be overwritten. For example for the exterior with 10 lux as the lower value and 100 as the higher and automatically the values in between are going to be interpolated. If I want to concentrate on the interior I would like to use values between 100 and 500. I can override the lower value and the upper value is automatically at least twice as high as the lower value. Values in between can be modified by clicking on the color or on the value according to your needs. We have changed uh, the arrangement of buttons in some places. Uh, the graphical user interface now shows here the button for calculation, start, stop and discard results. You have a new position for the light scenes. So what remains for the calculation are now only the genuine calculation surfaces of which I have been inserting one here for the task area and the main surfaces for the room. Now let's have a look at the results. Fortunately it's already calculated and we have integrated a tool here to select surfaces. You have all the surfaces here. You can switch them on and off. Let's have a look at the work plane and you see a green button marking that the requested results are met. I hope that these improvements, small improvements, large improvements, Bigger and smaller changes will help you enjoying the Alux Evo and having even more success with it. You can be sure that the forthcoming sessions will be discussing a lot more details on the different features regarding daylight, regarding the new layout, improvements on the documentation. Thank you for watching and listening.